So this is a is a lot of uh, what we should say lot of area of lot of area of contemplation and application, which is uh, where we presume understanding and certainty. So if we have courses, especially for those who are uh, as you said in leadership positions. and uh, that will also help us to to be more to not come off as so otherworldly or impractical in today's world isn't it? otherwise sometimes that is one perception that comes that is that devotees even nice people but you know what you're saying is not practical or it's too too transcendent or too otherworldly so as devotees we may not say this about our practices but for many people Krishna consciousness doesn't seem to be addressing any of the urgent issues that preoccupy the mainstream mind in today's world. So, And preoccupy many of us devotees as well. <laughs> yeah. By the way, let's let's be let's let, let, let's be frank about it. Um, by the way, the you know the practice of Krishna consciousness. the sadhana the temple attendance that's all important however what concerns me is what i call the kind of reductionism that's going on in chila prabhupad's philosophy uh an example of my of this might be that we end many of the classes with but in kali yuga it's not possible just chant hari krishna oh. now I I don't think that Shri Prabhupada dedicated so many hours to translating the Bhagavad Gita as and the Shrimad Bhagavatam particularly so the Shrimad Bhagavatam was discussing um with the idea that we're going to reject some of it that's amazing there are instruction there are instructions on all areas of worthy areas of human endeavor and 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 we ignore them at our peril and i think one thing that is clear to me and i'm going to make this statement quite strongly because i think that morality is very closely linked or dharma if you liked to the administrative leadership the chatris because it was they who were responsible for establishing and maintaining the basic moral ethos of the society in which spiritual life could flourish yeah you know if you consider you mentioned earlier about gaudiya vaishnavism the, the, the whole way say the devotees in bengal are living or in the devotees in uh, in orissa are living they are able to live because there is a foundation of varanashram that there is uh. a whole socio socio cultural and socio economic structure is arranged in such a way that say advaita acharya can be just doing harinam sankirtan for most of the time and uh, they can they can travel for four months and go to jagannath puri and live there so a certain level of social organization this is a good example or chetan charitamrut builds on the on the social structure that is already there and trying to yeah. live that that kind that way without having that social structure we don't have it in today's world but then what to do that is quite a that is a challenge in itself which we can't uh, which we can't de- we can't deny it's a challenge so the, the statement i'm going to make is this without effective governance iskon will not go forward well without successful governance there will be no successful iskon by governance you're talking about means governance of iskon by iskon itself is that what you're referring to But- Absolutely yes, and of course, if we want to look at the salvation of the world, it would have to extend there as well. Yeah. In other words, Krishna consciousness really struggles if it's going to operate in a cultural vacuum or a social vacuum. It can't, you know, a kind of disembodied spirituality will not work. 
disembodied spirituality has beautiful way of putting it so just as the soul needs a body to function while it is in the material world so similarly we need but you a, got to have you need some kind of body it could be your spiritual body but the spirit but the spiritual body has form as well where where's this idea that the spiritual doesn't have form or isn't systematic and everything kind of goes on vaguely through a kind of impersonal krishna delivered energy no everything has to be systematic our education has to be systematic our gov- just because the materialists are systematic and organized it doesn't mean we should be the opposite quite the contrary we're personless it is no good decrying education as a slaughterhouse which i i agree it is often but unless we come up with a better educational system what use is our critique and this is part of the problem and this is one thing that nietzsche criticized of religious people and particularly christianity is i i think christians i think he was a little harsh uh, but he made some very good observations they are more concerned to criticize others than to set the example themselves and that we have to avoid <laughs>